Number 21. So during normal operations, an aircraft reciprocating engine using hydraulic valve filters is observed to have no clearance in its valve operating mechanism after a minimum inlet oil and cylinder head temperatures for the takeoff have been achieved. When can this condition be expected? This can be expected at normal operations, during normal operations. So an aircraft reciprocating engine using hydraulic valve lifters is observed to have no clearance in its valve operating mechanism after the minimum inlet oil and cylinder head temperatures for takeoff have been reached. When can this condition be expected? It can be expected during normal operations. It can be expected during normal operations. Normal operations. Number 22, timing disc. Timing disc. What tool is generally used to measure the crankshaft rotation in degrees? A timing disc. Timing disc can, is a tool that generally is used to measure the crankshaft rotation in degrees. Timing disc. Number 23, at maximum velocity, 90% after TDC or top dead center. At maximum velocity, 90 degrees after top dead center. So if the engine with a stroke of six inches is operated at 2000 RPMs, the piston movement with the cylinder would be at a maximum velocity, 90 degrees after top dead center. Maximum velocity at 90 degrees after top dead center. Number 24, so backfiring into the induction system. Backfiring into the induction system. If the intake valve is open too early in the cycle of operations of a four stroke cycle engine, it may result in a backfire into the induction system. A backfire into the induction system. If the intake valve is open too early in the cycle of the operation, of a four stroke cycle engine, they may, it may result in a backfiring into the induction system. Number 25, nitrating, nitrating. So some cylinder barrels are hardened by nitrating, nitrating. Some cylinder barrels are hardened by nitrating, nitrating. Some cylinder barrels are hardened by nitrating. Number 26, the intake valve closes on the compression stroke. The intake valve closes on the compression stroke. The intake valve closes on the compression stroke. So which statement is true, which statement is correct regarding a four stroke cycle aircraft engine? The intake valve closes on the compression stroke. The intake valve closes on the compression stroke. Number 27, near the top of the cylinder. Near the top of the cylinder. Near the top of the cylinder. So on which part of the cylinder walls of a normally operated engine will the greatest amount of wear occur? Near the top of the cylinders. Near the top of the cylinders. On which part of the cylinder walls of a normally operated engine will the greatest amount of wear occur near the top of the cylinder near the top of the cylinder number 28 with a contour or radius gauge with a contour or radius gauge so during overhaul reciprocating engine exhaust valves are checked for stretch with a contour or radius gauge with a contour or radius gauge. During overhaul, reciprocating engine exhaust valves are checked for are checked for stretch with a contour or a radius gauge. With a contour or a radius gauge. Number 29. Shortly before the piston reaches the top of the compression stroke. Shortly before the piston reaches the top of the compression stroke. So when is the fuel-air mixture ignited in a conventional reciprocating engine? 
shortly before the piston reaches the top of the compression stroke. Shortly before the piston reaches the top of the compression stroke. When is the fuel air mixture ignited in a conventional reciprocated engine? Shortly before the mixture reaches the, shortly before the piston reaches the top of the compression stroke. Number 30. 373 degrees, 373 degrees. So ignition occurs at 28 degrees before top dead center on a certain four stroke cycle engine. And the intake valve opens at 15 degrees before top dead center. How many degrees of crankshaft travel after ignition does the intake valve open? 373 degrees, 373 degrees. Take your quiz. And I'll see you soon.